Hi everyone and welcome back to another movie of the week and the movie this week was Fight Club from 1999 so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. This is our first movie of the week. What I do is I talk about a movie here. You guys comment below your thoughts and at the end of every video I say the movie for next week so you can follow along. It is hot and I just got home and I haven't eaten dinner yet so I'm probably cranky and moody and hot. So we're gonna make this fast. So it's so funny that this interview made me week because I just saw Bottoms which they were trying to play off the Fight Club aspect. Fight Club is a film bro movie. There, I said it, there's like four or something that's like the four top film bro movies. What are they? They're like Fight Club, Inception, Pulp Fiction, and The Wolf of Wall Street, right? Those are the four top. Godfather, I feel like is like separate from that, but like those are the four top film bro movies. So this is a film bro movie. This is my second time watching a movie. But out of all the, well, I actually do also like Inception, but like I'm gonna say like, this one out of the film bro movies I think is actually the best and I feel like the message is like used like people get the message incorrectly and that's why it ends up being a film bro movie when like that's not what the film is about and people just don't see it. <laughs> I already said right that I saw Bottoms. Yeah. What am I saying? So I actually read this somewhere recently. I don't know if it's right but that like so it's not based off a book. And the writer of the book is actually gay. And so like the entire film, I don't know if it's like a metaphor for being gay or like being a closet, like I don't know. But like, I feel like people just don't know that. And if people did, I think it would change their perspective on the movie. So my first time watching it, I actually thought it was like a real big plot twist at the end. Like, I also don't know their names. So I'm gonna just say Brad Pitt and Edward N Norton. I'm just gonna call them Brad and Edward. And it was like a big plot twist at the end that you know, Brad's character was just like him and that he had multiple personality disorder. Like, I just like, I don't know why I like didn't see that coming my first time watching it. So big plot twist. Obviously, second time going in, I like know what it's about. Also, spoiler, hopefully you've seen it right now. I feel like it's actually from the very beginning, it's so evident that he probably does have multiple personality disorder. So I feel like, I don't know why I didn't pick that up because I feel like they need that like not they made it like very clear but they have like enough clues which is like how he's like not sleeping how he's like waking up in like random places how he like obviously does stuff when he's like supposed to be sleeping like it just that like how did i not pick it up is kind of the thing but i feel like it's not that obvious that brad's character is his other personality like I feel like they, it, it's harder to like get that. Like if it's your first time watching it and you like guessed it, like props on you because I feel like that's harder to see, that's harder to guess. Just because like there's so many scenes where like they're together and there's like all these other people too. And like, like it's really him talking, but you know, from his, you know, you see it from his perspective where he's watching Brad talk. So it's like, it would, I think I would get it more if it's really kind of like with the Helena character, whatever her character's name, um, how like they kind of do it with her where, you know, Brad and her are never seen in the same room, like they do that. But, but for all these other scenes, like the other person, like everyone else is there. So it's like harder to guess it. I feel like a lot of people film bros just take like the fighting aspect and so that's like what they hold on is like the fight club which like is only a small part of the film where they're in this basement and they're like fighting. Like that's what people take from this movie and they just like think that's what this movie is about when it's not. I think they like take this message to be like crazy and to like cause chaos and like to fight when like that's like not what you should be seeing in the film and that's not the purpose and that's why it ends up being a film bro movie. I said the fighting aspect was very small. I mean I just like in the end like he started all these organizations in all these other different cities and I just think it's like crazy because like how did he have the time? <laughs> this man like you know and how did he like not realize it was him? It's just like crazy. I feel like this film is just like I guess, I don't know if you whoever wrote in front of to write a book, but it's like about a guy who has muscle personality disorder. And then like, he found a way like, oh, maybe there can be like this fighting aspect and like he never realizes him. And he's like a leader. I think like he wanted to show someone like your other personality is a leader and can do all these things that you're not. I feel like there is like the scene when he's with his boss and he's like beating himself up. Like he did that like really good beating himself up. 
And so you're kind of like, oh my, and he's actually good at beating people up. That was like, I guess a clue that Brad is his other personality. I don't know. I don't know what critically to say about this film other than like, I don't know why I keep going back to like the people are just not understanding the message, right? I guess like the message, message is just like to show like, I don't know, like about like, you know, luckily, or like I hope so, I don't have a multiple personality. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be crazy. I feel like if I do, like, I feel like, I don't know, I live in a house and people, like, they would know. <laughs> Unless people are just not telling me. But, like, I feel like it's a way to, like, show how, like, you have it in you to be, like, a leader. You have it in you to, like, take control in your job and, like, you have it in you to, like, you know, actually be with the woman and you have it in you to, like, do things. So, I think, I feel like that's the message of film is, like, you have it in you to be a leader and you have it in you, all these things. And, like, that's not what people get from this movie. And I feel like, I don't know if I'm being right, I'm sure there's, like, other messages from this movie or, like, other intentions from, like, the writer that I just, like, don't know. I don't know, I feel like people just, like, get the wrong message from this movie and I'm probably gonna get so many haters in the comments that come at me because I don't get any comments. But I feel like also, like, the film is very fast-paced and goes between scenes and scenes and I feel like that works, especially for, like, what the film's about. I don't know. Maybe you should rewatch this movie with what the perspective I'm talking about. Anyway. But thank you guys for watching, and so the movie for next week is up from 2009, so very different. So make sure you comment your thoughts about Fight Club and watch up, up, up for next week. Thank you guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and bye.